Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion is out right now at the time of this video releasing. Available on every single platform at the moment from Switch, PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, as well as Xbox Series X and Xbox One. However, if you want to win a free copy, feel free to join our giveaway we're doing right now. It actually ends today. All you need to do is become a subscriber on the channel and follow us on Twitter. Winner gets to choose which platform they get the game for. Now, thanks to Square Enix, I've had this game for quite some time now. And with that time, I came across some things I feel like you guys need to know if you're trying to get yourselves into Crisis Core Reunion. I promise it's going to help you all enjoy the game much more than ever. And with that being said, let's get into the video. The very first thing you guys need to know is a warning. Upon your first playthrough of Crisis Core, Hard Mode is available to play from the beginning, and it is amazing. Hard Mode actually feels very good and forces you to get better with the game. However, there is one major flaw with Hard Mode being available from the beginning. When you get to Chapter 9 and the later portions of Crisis Core's story, while playing Hard Mode on your very first playthrough, the bosses and enemies scale up ridiculously high with HP and damage. And on your first playthrough, even with grinding levels, it can be still frustrating to deal with, but it's not impossible to win. However, just be aware of this incredibly massive boss health and damage increase when you get to the later chapters. Once you get to about chapter 8 and higher, it's pretty damn annoying. I don't blame you if you play chapters 1 through 9 on hard mode and switch to normal towards the end. Seriously, it's stupid bad and fights go on for over 30 minutes. That's totally unnecessary. Comment below if you experienced this as well. It's not necessarily that it makes the game harder, the enemies are still really easy to dodge around and clap their cheeks. It's just the fights take way longer because you just physically cannot output enough damage to kill them as quickly as you should. So yes, again, beware. This next one will probably save a lot of you guys some headache. In this game, by default, the target switching input button is set to holding L1 and hitting left or right on the analog stick. This can get very awkward for some, but don't worry, in the options, you can actually go to the controller settings and switch that to simply pressing left or right on the D-pad without having to hold L1, which is very similar to Final Fantasy VII Remake. But also, while you are here in this menu, feel free to change the controller scheme up to best fit your preference. Whatever works best for you, that's the way to go for it. This next tip is explained very early on in the game's very own tip menu, but a lot of players will skip it like I did. <laughs> Yellow Materia abilities such as Assault Twister, Jump, and many more are great damage dealers, but will always deal double damage and even more damage plus crits when used in the middle of striking combos with Zack or at the very end of those same combos. You'll know you did it right if the yellow materia ability damage numbers are orange instead of white. Using it raw only gives white numbers and are much less of a damage output than when you use it in the middle of a combo and it lights up orange. You want to go for these as much as possible so you're maximizing your potential damage output which can also interrupt enemy boss attacks abilities that they are trying to charge up. This will help you get those things down from 100% to zero almost all the time if you're maximizing this. Now that you know this, please remember when you watch my let's play of Crisis Core, I swear I wish I paid more attention to this early on. It's super important. I didn't start using it until the end of the game. Hit that like button if you found this helpful so far. Let's get this video to over a thousand likes to help others find it who may be new to Crisis Core and get these godlike tips in their way. Next tip, don't grind missions until chapter 4 or afterwards of chapter 4. In the beginning of the game, you get access to missions but they really are not worth doing until about chapter 4. The reason why is because in chapter 4 you get access to the mission 7-2, Precious Items. These missions reward you with some seriously important stuff, but you can get the item Fusion Tome, which allows you to insert items into your Materia Fusion to make the fusion even stronger. And not only that, you can also get a keychain, which allows Zack to now equip 3 pieces of gear instead of only 2. And then finally, the backpack as well, which allows Zack to wear 4 pieces of gear instead of 2 or 3 previously. This way you can maximize your defenses or damage and wear a lot of great gear. And from here, you now have access to a lot of missions. And of course you can't do everything in the game just yet, you still have to find various missions around the game in later chapters, but this is a great point to start grinding and start getting those missions knocked out. Now this next tip I'm going to go more in depth with when it comes to our combat guide which will be coming out later, but you can cancel Zack's combo strikes and various moves with the R1 block button. Doing this allows you to quickly start up another attack rather than waiting for the end lag animation. 
The difference is a few seconds, but it makes a huge difference with locking down enemies. Because every 3 and 5 hits Zack does, he has a chance to interrupt enemy attacks. This mainly works on lower level to medium level enemies. Bosses, not so much. So essentially, you hit them 3 times and cancel it with R1 to immediately start hitting them again and interrupt. It's very viable very early into the game, but later in the game you won't need this as much since you will be dealing massive damage with abilities used in combos and access to a bunch of other moves. But it's great to know this early on so you can quickly dodge or block enemies hits and also get straight back into the combat once you finish up another hit. And finally, a tip for the Buster Sword when you finally get it. You unlock a new stance which guards and reduces incoming damage. While in this stance, Zack can do a 2 hit combo which has a high chance and always seems to interrupt enemy attacks. This attack is simply called strong attack and you initiate it by pressing square after you go into the stance by pressing square X, go into the stance and then press square to initiate this attack. The first hit is a cleave that hits a bunch of enemies around Zack and the last one is a heavy slash that will interrupt enemies. The major thing however is weapon proficiency. With the Buster Sword, you can go into this new stance by pressing square and X to initiate it. While in that stance, any abilities that you use in that mode or regular attacks with the Buster Sword with that stance will raise the proficiency percentage. It doesn't go up a whole lot, but it's definitely worth it to get this up as quickly as possible. Because once you get it over 25% and higher, Zack's damage can start breaking past over the 9999 damage limit, which is a major thing you need to get to. Regular strong attacks from this new stance or using an ability while in this stance are all great ways to raise the proficiency. And also, while you're in this stance, any yellow materia ability that you do is automatically set to do orange and crit numbers. This damage can only get crazier from here. But also, one thing to note, in longer battles, you'll start to see Zack's proficiency will stop increasing. There is a bit of a limit, unfortunately, but once you move on to another enemy mob, you'll see it starts going up. Unfortunately, yes, there is a limit to it. And those are the main tips you guys need to know before you play Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. Or at least, you know, to pay attention to while you're playing it. <laughs> if you found them helpful, please leave a comment, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you are new. We have tons more tips on the way, and you guys will not want to miss them. My name is Blitz, and thanks for watching!